Hello, it's Samantha Nolan Smith here, CEO and founder of the School of Visibility. And there's something we haven't chatted about uh, recently, which is the iOS updates and the impact that that might have on your visibility strategy. Your visibility strategy encompasses your marketing, your uh, authority building in your industry, and the iOS updates, if you don't know, are about privacy. They're about, sorry, I'm just getting comfortable here as I chat. Uh, they're about people opting in to provide their data to every app that's on the uh, iOS network. In other words, every app in the App Store. And obviously that has a massive impact on Facebook because Facebook up until this point has just gathered the data and now from this point forward, uh, will it will require people to say, yes, it's okay to share, which radically impacts on the information that they have to provide to small business owners who advertise with them. So Facebook has been talking about this for a long time and small business owners have been looking at this and thinking, how is this going to impact? Because if I can't, if, I, if I'm not allowed, if I'm not able to uh, utilize all of that information that Facebook has, how will I reach my customers? So what we know for sure at this point, there's been a lot of, uh, uh, well, there's always, with any change, there's a lot of people who panic and start to, you know, get really uh, upset about these things. And I think as a business owner, what you want to do is you, the market's always changing. The environment's always changing. Could be COVID, could be iOS changes. A few years ago, it was all the privacy issues in Europe. You have to roll with it. But you also have to be realistic about what does this mean? And what it means uh, for sure is that ad, ads prices will go up, which is going to have a roll on effect to the price that you're going to charge for your products and services. But it also means that the messaging that you have, the messaging that you share with the world becomes ever more important. When you look at the history of working online, it didn't really matter when we first got online, anybody could say anything and people were interested because the internet itself was just fascinating and new and different. And over the last, let's say 20 years, it's the requirement to become tighter and tighter and tighter in your messaging, to have a much clearer understanding of who am I trying to reach and what am I trying to say to them has become even more important. And so yes, Facebook ads will go up. I don't think they're going to become prohibitive. I still think they're still, they're an incredible deal in comparison to what was on offer for small businesses before we had the opportunity to advertise online. So I don't think that's completely prohibitive, but I do think what that means is that it's not just a matter of putting an ad out there, excuse me, <coughs> voice seems to be going, putting an ad out there and just hoping for the best. You have to, you're going to have to really nail your marketing. You're going to have to know who you are, what makes you different in the market. And you're going to have to really find your voice and find that unique thing that you are here to say that is going to make a huge difference to how your business responds to these iOS changes. The other thing is that I think is really important, not spoken about enough, it is spoken about, but not enough, is you're going to need an ecosystem. And, and that means that just relying on one platform or one place to share your message is not going to be enough. And I am all about... It, with my students, I'm always pulling them back from doing too many things because what ha what I find happens is at a certain stage in business that people try a little bit on Facebook and try a little bit on Instagram and try a little bit on um, LinkedIn and, you know, and it becomes completely overwhelming and all too much. And I don't recommend that. I don't recommend this scattergun approach to visibility at all. But what is going to happen is you're going to have to be very strategic about deliberately step by step building out a visibility eco structure a system so that you each piece has a purpose and feeds into another piece and feeds into another piece so it makes sense and it's a it becomes a virtuous circle of building more traffic, engaging, connecting more with people. What that looks like, for example, might be that you have uh, you have 
parts of your visibility strategy that are about appearing on search engines. And Google isn't the only search engine. Podcasts are searchable. P print <laughs> Can I speak today? Pinterest is, you can think of Pinterest as a search engine. So you need a search component to your strategy. Then you need an engagement component to your strategy. You need a connection point. You need somewhere where people can come and continue to connect and talk and, and so forth. Facebook groups are great for that. Pages. Some, some people are doing WhatsApp groups. There's lots of different ways you can do it. Uh, and then you want that piece that's about this is not going to change irrespective of what happens to other people's businesses, namely Facebook and uh, all the socials and Google and so forth, what piece do I have that's, own, that's intellectual property of my business? And normally that's your email marketing. And so you see how what you're going to have to do is to be quite strategic about I'm, this is where I'm bringing in traffic. This is how I'm connecting and engaging with my community. This is my support structure. This makes sure that even if the whole world um, suddenly everything changes, I still have this asset within my business. So that's your ecosystem that you that is essential to build out. But you don't want to build it out all at once and you don't want to build it out like a scattergun. You want to build one piece out, make sure it works, add another piece, make sure that works, add another piece, make sure that works. And then the final thing, of course, in order to even do all of this or even to come at all of this is you need to be clear of any visibility blocks. The, the environment in terms of doing business online is becoming more challenging. And the last thing that you want is also internal resistance to being visible. You want to be feeling really good about being visible, feeling really good about using your voice, sharing your message, being unique in the world. And so that then you can look at what's going on and respond powerfully, respond as a woman who says, I can, I know, I know what I'm going to do here. So these are all the pieces. Let me just remind you what they are. The iOS uh, updates mean that ad, ad prices are going up. The general, the overall, there's one more piece actually that I haven't mentioned is, which is the impact of COVID, which is that loads, loads more people came online and, and some of them are going to stay, which means the market um, becomes more crowded. So it means your marketing, your, your messaging needs to be absolutely on point. You need to know who am I here to speak to? What am I speaking to them about? What makes me different from other people? The cookie cutter approach is not going to work. It's it, we saw it, there was a whole phase there where there are a whole bunch of businesses that were just cookie cuttering other people's businesses. And that phase is well and truly done. It's over. Uh, so you're going to have to get tighter on that. You're going to have to be really clear on who you're speaking to. And you're going to have to build out an ecosystem step by step, piece by piece, strategically making decisions about where you're showing up and why and you and become discerning about what you say no to that becomes vitally important. And then finally, you need to clear the visibility blocks. So they're the pieces that, that, that my recommendations for responding powerfully uh, to the changes that are happening in the online space. And of course, if you, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> if you need support with that, then we have Women Speaking Up open for just one more day. What we do in there is we do the business stuff that we've just spoken about and we do the internal work because there are lots of marketing programs that you can join. There are lots of programs that will teach you about how to run a webinar or how to set up an online course or whatever it is or how to nail your messaging. But what most of those programs don't do is that they don't then address well, what who do you need to become in order to do that effectively? What kind of person do you need to be? What kind of fears do you need to overcome? What kind of blocks do you need to release in order to then take those strategies, take that information and then really run with it? So the program is really unique because it continues to weave together practical strategies, personal, personal development, business development, personal development, business development, all in the area of authority building, using your voice, speaking up, being visible online and in the world. It's a place for you to brainstorm, to become more discerning about, is this 
something that I need to be pursuing or is this like a shiny object that actually I need to step away from? It's a place where you can make those decisions from a place of alignment and have practice, pra continue to practice doing that. So we're open for one more day. The URL to check us out is womenspeakingup.com. I would love to see you inside the program. And of course, if you've got any questions, send us a DM and we can chat there.